Algebra 2, 1.4e, simplify with the distributive property. When we subtract a sum or a difference, it can be done by adding an inverse. We can simplify by using the distributive property to remove parentheses. We see 6a minus 4a plus 2. It's going to be 6a plus, and we can put a bracket here, a negative 4a plus 2. Just adding the inverse, see? We're adding a negative. The inverse of a sum property makes it so it's a negative 4a plus a negative 2. That was from video 1.4d, and there's a link to that video in this description if you want to watch it. And we keep simplifying, and we get 6a minus 4a minus 2. That's the subtraction theorem from 1.4a video. And when we combine like terms, collect like terms, we did that in video 1.4c. If you haven't seen that one, it's in there also in the description. You can just click on it. We end up simplifying it to 2a minus 2. So do you see what we did? We did adding an inverse. We did adding a negative. And we did inverse of a sum. And we combined the like terms and ended up with 2a minus 2. When we see an expression in parentheses and there's a subtraction sign, an additive inverse sign before the parentheses, we just change each sign inside the parentheses. We talked about that in the last video. So if we have a minus 5, that's still a subtraction sign before the parentheses. That counts. So that gives us, by adding the inverse, a plus a negative 5 times a plus b. It's just the inverse of 5 times a plus b, see? Then, using the distributive property to distribute the negative into the parentheses, so we distribute this negative into the parentheses with negative 5 times a, which gives us negative 5a, and negative 5 times a positive b gives us a negative 5b. Now we just combine the like terms. Remember, there's a little invisible 1 in front of that a, so it's like a 1 minus 5. So that gives us a negative 4a minus 5b when we simplify it, all right? And we covered this in the last video, but I thought I'd put this again. When we see a negative like this, this inverse, remember there's an invisible one in front of this parentheses, okay? It's like an co invisible one coefficient. And we can distribute this negative one to the 3x and to the positive 2. That gives us a negative 3x minus 2. You can also look at it as negative 1 times 3x plus negative 1 times 2. See? And it gives us the negative 3x minus 2, because the positive and negative makes a negative. See? And when parentheses are needed inside of parentheses, we can use other grouping symbols. There's other grouping symbols that we can use, and it'll make it a lot easier on our eyes. Now, you could use all parentheses, and you could just have parentheses inside parentheses, inside parentheses, you can do that. But it's a lot easier to use different grouping symbols. We solve inside the innermost symbols first. So here we have parentheses that are inside of brackets that are inside of braces. So we do this distributive property to the very, very inside, the innermost ones, which are the parentheses, and we distribute 3a and 3 to the negative 2, so we get 3a minus 6, because 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. We distribute this 4 to the y and get minus, whoops, that's supposed to be an a. Sorry about that. We get a minus 4a, and minus 4 times a positive 2 is a minus 8, see? So now we have the parentheses gone. And we can combine the like terms that are inside these brackets. We got a 3a and we got a 4a. Well, when you have a 3a and you take away a 4a, you get a negative 1a or a negative a, because we don't have to write that one, do we? And when you have a negative 6 and you take away an 8, that gives us a negative 14, see? Or you could look at it as negative 6 plus negative 8. Either way, it's a negative 14. Now we can distribute this 4 to each of the terms inside of the brackets to remove the brackets. And that's going to give us a negative 4a, see? 
and 4 times negative 14 is negative 56. And then we've got our negative 3 that goes on to the end. So now we've removed the brackets by distributing. So now we can distribute this negative invisible 1 here to remove the braces. All right? And as we learned in the last video, when we have a negative like this, a negative 1, and we're going to distribute it, all we have to do is just change the signs. So this negative, this negative, and this negative sign are going to become a positive, a positive, and a positive. Just change the signs. Don't worry about the multiplication. There's a negative here. We're going inside. We just change the signs. That gives us a positive 4a, a positive 56, and a positive 3. We combine like terms. 6a and 4a makes 10a. 56 and 3 makes 59. And our final answer is 10a plus 59. See? So we use parentheses. We use brackets, these boxy things. And we use braces, these curly ones. Sometimes they're called curly braces. See? And just slowly kept distributing until we got in there. If you want to see about how we did this from the last video, just changing the sign from the negative, that was video 1.4d. And that link is in this description, OK? So just remember that when you have two positives, it's going to make a positive. And two negatives are going to make a positive because they're like signs. These are alike, and these negatives are alike. So they're going to make a positive. And when you have signs that are unlike, when they're different from each other, they're always going to make a negative, OK? You should have that inside the cover of your spiral or somewhere as a note so you can flip to it real quick, all right? And our next video is 1.5a, and we're going, to talk, we're going to talk about how to solve equations using the properties of equality. And all the links for all the videos we've done so far for Chapter 1 are in this video's description. Long list of links. You can just go through the titles and click on the one that you think will be helpful. All right? Keep you going, and I'll see you in the next video. And we'll solve some equations using the properties of equality. I hope you're doing well. Bye.